Welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Spotlight. Today I am talking about the 1999 film, Bats. Hey, Sheila? Yeah? Looks like they left a little something behind. Oh gosh, Eric, don't move. Don't move! Ah. Alright, be careful now. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Bats is directed by Louis Morneau and it's starring Lou Diamond Phillips, Dana Meyer, Bob Gunton, and Jimmy Sands. Genetically mutated bats escape a secret lab and attack a small town. Bats has won an award, but it definitely wasn't best picture. It is known as one of the fastest 35 millimeter films that have gone from concept to screen in just a matter of months. In just over five months, this movie went from script to feature film in 2,540 screens. Here's the timeline of production. Script acquired and director hired May 1999. Filming began in June and ended in July. Editing over 250 visual effects, sound mixing, and musical score added in August through September. And then the film's theatrical release. Bats was released October 22nd, 1999, just in time for Halloween, and it grossed around $10 million on an estimated $5 million budget. So the movie did make a little bit of money. Critics, however, ripped this movie to shreds, and it is currently sitting on Rotten Tomatoes at an 18%. So what do I like about this movie? Well... <laughs> This is not what I would consider a traditionally good movie. This falls right into the so bad it's good category. And I feel that the so bad it's good movie is absolutely perfect for Halloween. The so bad it's good horror film works so well for folks that really aren't fans of horror movies, but they want something kind of spooky and silly for the, you know, keeping the holiday spirit. And movies like this are absolutely perfect for that. Now, right out the gate, let me tell you, this movie is a lot longer than it should be. It clocks in just over two hours, and there is literally not two hours worth of stuff here. This movie should easily be an hour and a half. And so, yes, it does drag and it is boring in spots, but overall it delivers a pretty solid, so good it's bad, movie experience. So if you're one of those people who like to create drinking games or maybe partake of the 420, this is definitely a holiday movie for you. So the likes. All right, now first off, the special effects in this movie, they're okay. I mean, really, when you find out the timeline of how long it took to make this movie and everything, the special effects do not look half bad. There's a good blend of practical and CGI. I mean, it was 1999, so CGI wasn't being used a ton, but there was definitely some used in this film, but it doesn't really weigh the movie down. Also, the acting. Look, all right, these are all actors who have demonstrated in the past that they can do things. This, however, I feel they know exactly what this movie was. I mean, come on, it did not take that long to film. In fact, Lou Diamond Phillip was allowed to just kind of ad-lib a lot of stuff in his movie. In fact, he just brought some cigars to the film and was like, yeah, so uh, my character smokes cigars. I'm fairly certain he was just like, I'm only going to be here for a month, and you know what? I want to enjoy some cigars while I'm here, so, uh, characterization. And so, yeah, there's a lot of fun to be had in this movie with just the acting alone. Not, ter not terrible, just definitely self-aware. So, yeah, guys, if you're just looking for a silly, fun creature feature to help you get in the mood for the old spooky season, this is definitely the movie for you. And you know what? It is not even hard to find. It is currently out there for streaming on some of the free channels. You can find it on YouTube with commercials, the Roku channel with commercials, and Amazon. Amazon Prime members, you can check this film out for free. Well, folks, that brings us to the end of another Film Geek video. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and give me the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's one more thing you can do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna... <laughs>